there needs to be a case study done on men who go around and create multiple broken homes, but then will pursue a childless woman. Stop it. Get some help. And the moment he gets her pregnant, he don't want that no more. Say, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. And the cycle continues. And the cycle continues. And the cycle continues. Something's telling me that the math just ain't mathing. Stay tuned. <laughs> What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Hope everybody had a great weekend. I sure did. Glad to be back. Hit that like button on your way in. Tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload new content. You know what we're gonna do. Say it with me y'all. We're gonna roll that clip. In my opinion, I believe women who are childless we do not have a motherly instinct. And I believe that these certain type of men are escaping fatherhood responsibility. And so they want to get with a woman who don't have the same conviction. You know, like now that I'm older, I wouldn't date a man with kids. But I could see how when I was younger, how I could be manipulated. <laughs> that is not correct. You know, and so, but I just, I just wonder like what goes through the mind of a man that will go around and create multiple broken homes. You know, this woman risked her life to push your seed out in the earth, but then you want to go and pursue a childless woman and build a future with her. You get nothing. See, th this is what I want women to understand. Nobody is going around tricking you women control the access to their bodies men control the access to commitment marriage and relationships oh men are getting married more than women and a woman will not have a child unless they want to oh i want you to pay very close attention to this video I'm about to play because it's going to break everything down. Let's roll it. It was like this trend going around on Facebook for women to drop a pictures of their dead B baby daddies. And so let's just go through a couple of them and see if any of them gave active father. Let's just play a game. Okay. So what about this gave active daddy? I just want to know like, and a lot of these men have multiple baby mamas. I'm talking three plus. Okay. What about this gave longevity, long-term relationship, marriage, commitment, active dad what about this photo please tell me because us normal folks with brains we can look at this photo and like yeah absolutely not there's no way y'all looked at some of these pictures and some of these men and was like yeah he's gonna make a great father for sure there's no way you will not lie to me now some women do their due diligence some women do get manipulated some women do get dealt bad cards but that's not a lot of you so then you want us the people to believe that you were scammed you were lied to no you did not do your due diligence so in this case you did set yourself up for single parenthood because why would you sleep with a man like that thinking you were going to get an active dad why would you assume that especially a lot of these men have multiple kids they're not taking care of what made you think you were the one this is what we call delusion and it's time we hold women accountable for it you see women will go out and make a baby by a guy that's not gonna be an active father then get on the internet like this woman and say oh well i was young I was this, I was deceived. Now, we understand that women may be deceived. You may get with a man who lies to you, doesn't tell you the truth, doesn't really have your best interest at hand. For the most part, ladies, you kind of know what happened to your female intuition. What did he say? Oh. What happened to your female intuition? It's not that you don't have the intuition. You just don't want to listen to it. Pow. Oh! You let your 
hormones take over. You let your emotions take over. You let this guy that has the gift of gab, you let him sweet talk your, your draws off. And then next thing you know, you're pregnant because you want him to give it to you. You want him to give you a child because a lot of women will say, okay, if I have a child by this guy, he's going to stay. I grew up with women who thought that way. They thought that, okay, if I have a baby with this guy, he's going to stay. He's going to be an active dad. No. Nope. He's going to do right. No, that never happens. The mentality of the modern woman is this. Make mistakes and shame and lack of accountability will follow. You can look at women on YouTube that call in the Kendra G show. They make mistakes and they lack accountability. You're tired. <laughs> You're tired. How about that one? You're tired. I was going to say seven, I think, is the highest at the moment. Seven yeah. kids. How old are they? I have three grown children, 26, 21, 20, and I have four younger children, 16, 13, 9, and 7. Are they all by the same man? No. Are they all by the same man? No. 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 And women are having kids by men that have even said they don't want kids. So how are you going to get on the internet and say, okay, I was bamboozled. I was shocked. I was this. You have to understand that there are more women with children than there are men. So if you're giving the access to your body, to a man who has expressed his lack of commitment to you, chances are he's not going to be active dad. Women love pookies. They love the Ray Rays. But this is the trials and tribulations of the modern women is that they don't want to stop dating the pookie and the Ray Rays, but they want the good guys to behave like Pookies and right, right. And that's never going to happen. The fact that this woman can't wrap her head around this simple concept is that you gave the wrong man access to your body. You gave the wrong man access to your body. You're always going to be attached to that man because of the child. So this is why we always say, marry before you carry. Be careful who you give your body to. Don't get pregnant until you get married. And a lot of men and a lot of women, y'all love to say, well, marriage ain't going to change nothing. You know why? Because you're not really getting married. So why would somebody believe in something when they're not even doing it in the first place? Make it make sense. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. Do not forget, I will be live this Wednesday night talking about guys fashion and incels MGTOW. You don't want to miss this show. It's part two of why women don't want you as a man. And until the next video, peace.